What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Jim. And I look, yo, we got a special long video for today. Now, look, man, this is a video for a lot of y'all that kept talking to me, thinking, you know, oh, you can't speak on the point guards because you, you don't play Peach. You're right, I don't play Peach. But in this video, I brought back Yella. Yella is my Peach. If you want to to this channel, let's get the video to 45 likes. I have a PG named Yella Dwight. Okay, I made him in season three. I believe I think it was season three. And um, I just stopped playing with him because, you know, I don't really like playing PG because of the randoms. But some of y'all thought I was capped. Some of y'all think like, nah, bro, you just talk, but you don't play PG. You can't speak on it because you don't play, play the position. Well, the past couple of days, I've been playing with Yella just with randoms, right? And we're going to prove to you guys that, like I said, bro, the things I complain about is more about effort. It's not about being comp or elite. It's about effort and having a play style and understanding what the role is to do at the end of the day, which is, you know, create offense, right? Do all of that stuff. And by the way, before we get to, you know, this video like that and things like that, like I said, appreciate y'all love support, right? They did have yellow ass shooting guards sometimes in this game because y'all know how 2K's matchmaking is, okay? They can't match you with in, in the right position all the time. So, and most of these clips, you're going to see him with the ball and when he's not having the ball. But... In the title videos, I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Lonzo Ball because if you guys ask me, you know, if you had to compare a place a player, NBA player to Yella, how would you uh, compare him to? I wouldn't really compare him to, but you know how Lonzo Ball was? He had all-world potential, a little bit of everything. That's how I play, PJ. I do a little bit of everything, you know, score, create, rebound, defense, a little bit of everything, okay? So that's why Lonzo Ball is most likely going to be the, you know, thumbnail of this video. Other than that, y'all get let's get to the video and let's get to it, okay? Appreciate y'all. Pay attention because I got a lot to say, okay? Now, for a lot of you guys that are new to this YouTube channel, right? Some of y'all probably think, like, bro, every time I watch this guy's videos, he's always snapping at, at the PG. He's always, you know, complaining and things like that. Well, let me tell you why, right? And again, I'm not a point guard, right? But I told you guys, you know, a lot of this stuff is... Fundamental basketball to where it's common knowledge. See, a lot of y'all might be saying, like, well, bro, why is it a 50-something minute long video? Because you know why? People in this community are going to say, well, bro, bro only showed us a 10-minute clip of him doing something. That's one game. Nah, bro. I got basically a mixtape for y'all, okay? This is basically a mixtape. By the way, y'all is a floor spacing slash for the ones who are new to this channel. He is a floor spacing slasher, 6'4 point guard, okay? I had his build. I just never wanted to play with the build because I don't like dealing with randoms. And randoms don't have basic fundamental basketball IQ, right? But a lot of y'all keep thinking that I'm just complaining to where y'all think if I, if, I, if I played PJ, I wouldn't be able to do it, right? So I want y'all to pay attention because it's a long video for a reason. Things about fundamental basketball. And again, did I win every game with randoms? Of course not. But I guarantee you this. I made an impact. See, this is what y'all don't understand, bro. When you're playing a key role or a key position like point guard, right, your job, you have to show whether it's offense, defense, you got you to gotta show up. There is no, you know, hmm, do I want it today? You know, I want to just, you know, be passive here, passive there, meaning I get the ball. Oh, I don't want it, right? Because, see, this is what some of y'all do, right? This is what some of y'all do, right? When y'all when y'all play PG, this is why I get kind of irritated. You got the PGs that they hit the ball, right? Come down the court. His man's not playing. So keep in mind. Let's say, for example, you got the ball and the man's not playing. This is what y'all do. Y'all get the ball, holding the ball. The man's literally not moving. You got the ball three-point line right here. And you're just sitting there like this. Oh, move the ball. Dog, you wide open. Shoot it. So for one, two in here talking, right? Oh, by the way, because I can see the comments now. We're not even using Patty Mills' base. I don't even know what jumper I'm using. Because I told you, the last time I used this build was in season three, okay? I don't even know what, I wasn't even this, I don't even have Patty Mills base. I don't think I can get that. And no, I didn't glitch it. Because I don't do that. You see what I'm saying? I think we use something like Donovan Mitchell or something like that. I don't even know because I know Yella is 6'4", okay? Right? But my whole point is this. We are not, we got the, yeah, we got the Jamal Murray behind the back thing. I mean, who, who doesn't have that for a PG, right? Everybody knows that move is kind of like, you know, it's cheesy, right? But my whole point is, we went out here with randoms, okay? The first couple of highlights y'all seen, we went out here with randoms, okay? Went out here with randoms, and we're making an impact. Notice how we're shooting from deep, okay? For what you got to ask me, yo, what is Jealous Fruit Ball? He got a 93 ball. What y'all about to see in these clips? Y'all going to be asking me at the end of the clip, yo, bro, what build is that? Right? What build is that? But do I want to tell the build? 
You don't even want to make a, I'm not even going to make a build video. You want to know why? First of all, 2K24 is basically already over. And second of all, when I first did this before, right, it was a lot of people, because I, I, I showed y'all a yellow game in season, I believe, season four, and a lot of y'all were saying it don't count. It don't count. That's one game. Y'all kept telling me it's one game. It's just like a little 9200 thing. Oh, you were only doing that because you played 9200. When I do it, it's 99. So now it's other teams bad. You have to understand I'm playing with randoms. I don't know my teammates. You see what I'm saying? And we'll make it worse. You got PGs that are undersized. You got, they're like 6 1. Sometimes they 5 11, right? They go to the corner while everybody else, you know, struggling to get something going. They got a, people got an ISO now because your PG is giving you nothing, okay? So, as we're looking at these plays, I want you to pay attention. Look, Yella has the ball, okay? Behind the back, okay? If it's not there, he's patient, right? There's a cut, bam, right? Notice, look at, I want you to pay attention, bro. Look at the teammate grade, okay? If you don't pay attention to anything else, look at the teammate grade. I was talking to some people in, in you know, a, a party chat. We were having conversations about what Tuka needs to do. You know what they honestly need to do, right? And y'all know that's green, okay? They need to make a, you know, like in, the, in basketball, people show like their plus and minus. That really shows what a player really is, right? You know, yeah, the team at grade really helps, but the team at grade is not harsh enough on NBA 2K. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you, like right now, you can go in there right now, shoot a half court shot. It's going to take it out to a C minus, right? But that should, that, like, why are you shouldn't have court now? If you're up by 50, that's different. But you see what I'm saying? If the team is down, and you got somebody blatantly throwing the game. By the way, y'all see how we're shooting the ball with confidence? I could have been shooting two for I don't give a fuck. I'm shooting the ball. If I'm open, I'm letting that motherfucker fly with yellow, okay? So look, y'all, once again, behind, look at that. We're trying to get to the basket. Look, pump fake, make another read, right? Assist. Okay, let me sit down real quick, okay? Because I feel like I'm giving myself a headache by standing up. But I want y'all to pay attention because a lot of y'all keep talking to me as if, oh, you can't speak because you don't play PG. But you see how I make an impact with yellow? You see how I'm playing both sides? Do you see why I said my play style is a little bit of everything? It's a little bit of all around? Because I can give you everything. Offense, defense, playmaking. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Right? And if it's not there, hit yellow for the three. We letting that motherfucker fly. You see what I'm saying? No excuses. Okay? We playing with randoms. Now, the, the second amount of push I'm about to see, bro. Okay? We were playing with T, you know what I'm saying, big sister, and we were playing with Black, okay? Y'all make sure y'all can follow them, I believe. You know, T's channel with T3Bone24, she's, she's about to hit 400 subs on YouTube. Then we got uh, Black, his YouTube name, Mr. Toxic Black. You know what I'm saying, they starting to upload. So, okay, y'all make sure y'all go show it to them, okay? All right, but look, y'all, I want y'all to pay attention to this. Because, like I said, the whole point of playing PG is to create offense. Whether you, wh Whatever you got to do, right, you need to be able to create offense, okay? Nobody said you had to be elite. Nobody said you had to be a superstar. Find ways to be good at your... Look, that's a deep shot. We pulling that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Pulling it. Okay? Oh, but let me get say That don't count. We got more... Bro, this is basically a mixtape. Because I'm, I'm tired of people chirping to me, telling me, thinking, oh, you didn't do, do, do this and that. I'm playing with randoms. You see what I'm saying? All the videos that y'all be seeing me get, you know, kind of irritated at or kind of frustrated at, I'm playing with randoms. Well, again, well, Jay, you playing rims? Okay, so why are you why are you getting kind of irritated? Because again, do we enjoy losing? Let me ask you a question. For once, new to this channel, if you honestly think, okay, yeah, we're losing the game, are you excited? Are you excited about losing games? Because that's the mindset I get from some of y'all is, oh, you know, we losing. You no, know, who cares? That's not me. If I'm losing, no, I'm not. I'm not happy about that. I don't care if it's a if it's a five point game. I'm gonna be okay, bro. We need to find ways to get this lead. See what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to lose the game. And when I'm playing with rims, like I play with a PG that just sit in the corner and, and does nothing. But when we get on the fast break, now he's got to put forth effort and run the fast he can run because he want to score in a fast break. But he can't run, the, he can't run the, the actual position that he's supposed to do and actually create offense for the whole team. But you can run in the fast break. But now I'm a goofy because I didn't throw him the ball. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I mean? Do you see how in these clips, when we are playing with randoms, the yellow is not only... Playing, he's giving you offense, right? He's getting stops, okay? This guy is six foot four, okay? Yella is six four. He don't. He's not really a defender like that. And did we win every game? Of course not. You see what I'm saying? But we made impact. And a lot of this stuff, like I kept trying to explain to a lot of stuff that I get irritated at, is just straight on effort. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these guys don't even 
try to, you know, I'm a tomorrow. For example, nobody's saying you got to lock in, you know, forehead to the monitor. Like, yo, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? You're playing for money. Nobody says you got to do that. But what people are saying, like me, is, yo, if you were playing PG, go out there and actually try to create for others. See what I'm saying? Don't play the game and you guard, because this this was some of y'all. This, this is what randoms do. Before the game start, you know how I love everybody up. It loads everybody up in the lobby so you can see, like, you know, when y'all get to the game, y'all looking at the other team. Let's say the other PG average about 27 a game. He's on purple, right? And you got another PG. You got the PG on your team. He on he on bronze, and he averaged, you know, let's say uh, 12 and, and 4, right? Immediately, he's going to get on the mic, or he's not going to get – he ain't, he ain't going to say nothing. He just going to go sit in the corner and force somebody else to play the position because he's rattled the fact that he has to guard somebody on purple because they average this amount of points. Instead of actually going out there to go actually and play the actual role and position, in his brain, this guy averaged 27, 25 a game. I, I can't play PG. See what I'm saying? And half the times the people that be on purple are trash as fuck. When I was playing with Yella in these games, <laughs> I was going to begin some goals in purpose, I promise you, right? And for from fact, well, Jay, how do you honestly know that you are making an impact, dog? I got I, I got yellow from bronze to purple, not even within a week. That's how many games I was winning. But it goes to show you that I can play one through five on this game because a lot of this stuff is fundamental simple basketball, right? That, that's what people call wreck a casual mode because it's literally just fundamental basketball. If you have basketball IQ. You should be okay with playing your role in the rec. See what I'm saying? But a lot of these guys, they don't have IQ, right? They just go on YouTube, try to copy somebody, and think the, the next coming to that person, and you can't do that. See what I mean? Like I said, a lot of these games, <laughs> a lot of these games, you're making, look, I want you to look at this, bro. Do y'all see anything comp worthy? What, what do y'all see anything comp worthy? Right? We went to the basket, attacked the basket, kicked it out, got a three-pointer right there, bam, right? Where do y'all see anything about this being calm, right? Because I've been telling you, I'm not calm, nowhere near it, right? But I give you the basic fundamental stuff that a actual random that plays in the wreck should understand by now. Yo, look, I have to, I have to create offense. Nobody said I had to get, you know, score 50, but I have to find ways to create for my teammates because I'm the point guard at the end of the day. And if I'm not creating for my teammates, then we're going to be in a bad situation because we're not going to have no ball movement or nothing. See what I mean? But this, we are in season six. And, bro, I already seen the season seven rewards. If you want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of, you know, 2K. Like, and again, I guess from the last one, I was like, bro, they're going to probably give us another traveling item. And I was right. My last video I was talking about, I was like, bro, the season seven rewards is going to give us another item where we can travel with. They, they literally just gave us a drone that we had last year. They're literally reusing rewards. And giving it to us, pause, as like we don't, like we didn't have a reward already. You see what I'm saying? 2K needs to fire everybody at this point, okay? Y'all know how I feel about this. If you want me to make a video about that, um, we can do that after this. But, bro, I'm telling you right now, bro, Um, and I told y'all what 2K needed to do, but is it going to happen? Probably not. But we will probably get into the late news. I'm pretty sure they're dropping the trailer um today. This was, I thought it was dropping, you know, yesterday, but they're dropping it today, apparently. So I'll be on the lookout for that, you know what I'm saying? Because they hopefully that game... Can, you know, send a message to 2K or something. 2K need competition, y'all, okay? We all understand and know this, right? But again, do you see Yellow doing anything comp? Look at this. Look, getting to the basket. If it's not there, center, right there, bam. Do you see anything comp worthy, okay? Because when I upload this video and I look at the comment section, if you were the ones to say, you know, you know, my fault, you know what I'm saying? Don't even do that. I just want you to like the video. If you were one of the ones to think, not if you even type, if you want to think like man JB talking like this, but he he's never at that position, right? He never playing the one. If you were the ones who were trying to doubt me that I can't do this and that, just hit the like button. You see what I'm saying? Another three ball. And like I told y'all, all of these games, some of them they had yell at the two because like I told you, you know how 2K does and their matchmaking, which again has no excuses because we have you know uh cross play in the game right but you know how everything they put in the game uh, you know how it fails but again yellow for three letting it fly okay i don't want to hear nothing bro I'm, i promise you guys this if i were to really lab you know yellow and you know play pg like that i could be really a solid player i, I promise you like i really if i were to play pg like that okay and i were to just play on this build from day one 
I would be a solid PG. Like, I promise you, because right now, if you had to ask me, okay, we need to work on as a PG, uh, uh seeing the floor, right? Because y'all see, we, we shooting lights out, right? Because we're creating separation. That's something we need to talk about. How many times have I said it, bro? Creating separation. Matter of fact, where's my other controller at, right? Where's my other controller at, right? So look, y'all. This my this my other controller. This one, this is the one I had since last year. I need to buy another one of these, okay? Um, you ask me when I get to where I'm gonna be on YouTube. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna buy equipment for my setup, okay? So I'm gonna buy tons of controllers, tons of monitors, and of course, probably a new mic, right? All right. So my whole point is this. For the ones who have to y'all trying to figure out why do I always complain about a PG game separation because it's very simple. Now, like I said, this controller has stick drift, okay? Um, so it's not even on, right? So here's what I'm trying to show what to do, okay? When you are playing PG, if you are the ones to, I don't, I don't know how to. Okay, let's say you don't know how to create separation, okay? Look at the score. Which, look at the damn score. Playing with randoms. Look at the score, okay? With randoms, right? But look. Hold down R2, right? Because I feel this is what y'all do. Y'all do this right here. Y'all just do this right here. Y'all take the the right joystick and y'all do this. When you had a ball, you, you, you go like, just take the ball, you do this. You move, you do this, right? You have to hold R2 to activate the actual moves, bro. Like, you saw how we do the Jamari by in the back. And again, I know some of you already know this is beginner stuff, right? But there's a lot of people. Who are, they're gonna be afraid to type it. Well, I'm not gonna lie. When you talk about creating separation, I'm lost. I don't know how you do it. If you have to hold R2, then move these. I promise you, it'll make you a better overall, you know, situation or player as a guard, right? But you see me playing defense, okay? That's nothing new, right? But look, it's very simple, right? Because look, and then when you hold it, twing, twing. You see what I'm saying? Twing, twing. Now you can do some combos, right? But again, I told y'all, we playing, I told you, we do every fucking thing, everything. I told y'all this. If I play PG, we gonna make it happen. See what I'm saying? A lot of these people trying to doubt me, dog. Bro, it ain't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? It is a big of a deal because you got so much people, even if they don't, they don't type it, they got in their minds that I'm just a mean person that I like to yell at folks. No, dog, I just don't like to lose. And when I make content, when I show the type of PGs I get paired with, these niggas can't do basic shit, okay? They lack basic, fundamental basketball IQ, bro. Fundamentals. Things that you should learn as a child. You know, like, yo, the spacing needs to be there. You should not have three people on this side and the, and, and the right corner is by himself. You see what I'm saying? There's nobody over there, right? That should never be the case, right? But give Yellow the ball. Give Yellow the ball. Okay, Yellow Dwight is his name, ladies and gentlemen. Give Yellow the ball, right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. One, two, simple, right? Pay attention. And how many times have I said it? When you are playing PG, let's say you are not that type of, you know, player to where you are, not, you know, flashy or you just like to play just a regular type of style. What did I say numerous times, bro? Your center is most likely your best friend. It's almost like when the quarterback and the tight end, they got that connection. For the PG and center, y'all, if you are one of the PGs to where you don't really know what you're doing, but again, y'all, pull that. Without take. Without fucking take over. Pull it. You know what I'm saying? Because I hate when these motherfuckers say, oh, you was only shooting those because you had take. It's almost like the build has a 93 ball, correct? You see what I'm saying? So notice how when I make a build that actually can shoot the basketball, we are shooting the basketball, not only from the three-ball, but from the parking lot, okay? We're letting it fly from the parking lot, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So I want you to pay attention to that, right? And when I have a high flyer, all you do is something about it. Someone said to build a high flyer. So you, you see how when I make a build, and again, you see how we're getting the center of the ball? You see how when I make a build, right? And I use the build to the best ability. My high flyer had a 97 drive, driver that we showed that. This build has a 93 ball. We're showcasing that. You know what I'm saying? Shoot another one. Why not? Let it fly. You see what I'm saying? I don't know where I got the who. Who said that? E e either EJ said that or Chris Smooth. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, you know, I'm just tired of people thinking that I'm complaining. And again, we're getting to the basket. We're doing everything. Remember what I told y'all? My play style is all around. I told y'all this. How many times have I told y'all this, bro? If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe, okay? I Look at this. I told y'all, my play style is ep I'm all around. That's why I like, that's why I, I make small forwards, because small forwards are really all around, right? But you see, when I'm playing PG, 
I'm still playing that same type of style because it's my play style. Feel what I'm saying? And this Bill got, I think, I think Yelly got what ninety. He got, I think he got ninety speed. So he, he, you know, he a fast guard by the way too. He play, he play a fast pace. Okay, that's why centers are able to get a lot of points when they play with Yelly because he's so quick. And I got to do that little separation. And yes, I know Jamar is behind the back, right? But just the fact that when I kept trying to tell you how important that is. When you are playing with a guard that knows how to get open, when I mean create separation, can get open, can get to the basket, we're not talking about just, you know, left, right, left, right, or Jamal Murray, right? We're talking about finding ways to get to the basket to where it's not going to draw attention to where somebody else is open. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else is open. Like I told you, I need to work on my, my court vision as a PG. And again, I'm not a PG, but that's something I've realized when I was looking at these. I need to see my, I missed a lot of people open, okay? I did miss a lot of people, but my whole point is that I told y'all, you know what I'm saying, that it's most likely effort. And that's the problem with these PGs and Random Wreck. They do not show the effort, okay? They want somebody else to do it, and they set you up for failure, bro. This video need to have at least 75 likes by the time this video is over, right? Because I've, I'm just tired of PGs on the game. And again, it's funny because, you know, I was just bored, right? And then T was like, man, get yelling. Why don't you play with y'all? I was like, man, nah, I don't. I, I just don't like playing PG on the game. Because, of, of course, I've played PG on 2K before. Yeah, of course, I've done it, right? It's just the fact that randoms lack basic basketball IQ. That is why, right, you didn't, you, you don't see me really play PG because I don't want to deal with the BS, right? And I got a video I'm going to drop right after this, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. To where, you know, I'm not I'm, I'm going to let y'all see that video, right? But again, do you see how we're getting to the free throw line, right? It's like we're playing, we have nothing to lose. That's why Lonzo Ball is going to be the thumbnail of this video. We all remember Lonzo Ball, okay, we know who that is. He, yes, he's injury prone, but when he was in college, even in high school, he could literally do everything. He had the skill set, he had the athleticism, he had the shooting, he was smart, he could defend, right? He just can't stay healthy, right? That's how Yellow plays, look at that, a stop, right? Then guess what? Attacking and one. See what I'm saying? And one. We were aggressive, right? You see what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff that I'm talking about, bro. Lonzo could do a little bit of everything, right? I know I'm not just saying that because Yell is wearing number two. I'm just saying, if you watch the clips, right? And I'm not saying he's Lonzo, but I'm saying that how Lonzo had all world position because he could do a little bit of everything. That is how Yellow plays. Yellow can do a little bit of everything. He can get to the basket. He can get to the free throw line. He can shoot deep threes, okay? He can create offense for others. This, and again, I feel bad. I'm going to apologize to Yellow, too, because Yellow, you know, I should have been playing with Yellow, okay? Yellow is an absolute baller, okay? Y'all see, he is, bro, y'all, and again, all of these, a lot of these, a lot of these plays, he was out of position sometimes to where they put him at the two, and he's still finding ways to, you know, do something for the team. Now, look, right here, guys wide open. That's an easy find. You got to knock that down. That's an assist, right? I'll, and now we're going to go by this one by one at this point. Because I just want y'all to see the stuff that I'm talking about, right? Like I told y'all, yes, we need to work on, well, I need to work on seeing the court better when I'm playing with yellow. Because, again, you know, the assist ain't there. But guess what? We get a stop with yellow. Three to the dome, right? Now, and it's going to believe we were at the two guard. So, I think that's why you had two assists. But, overall, I need to work on seeing the floor better, okay? And there's nothing wrong because guess what? Everybody has a weakness, okay? It's okay. Everybody has a weakness. Yell for three again. Let it fly. Feel what I'm saying? Y'all don't see us just rimbling to the basket. We're actually shooting the basketball. Even when we had opportunities, so, you know, I just want to run a dunk. No. We are stopping and shooting threes, okay? And if it's not there, we moving the ball to somebody else and getting an assist. Just like that, right? And then we getting a stop. We moving the ball to get the teammates involved. They missed the shot. We're down the court with yellow, right? Guess what? Go to the three. Set your feet. Shoot it. Three to the fucking dome. Stop fucking playing with me, man. Keep telling me, yo, it don't count, Jay. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't play the PG position. I've had it with some of y'all, bro. And, I, and again, I'm just competitive. Y'all know how I get, bro. You know what I'm saying? But again, yellow attacking the basket. And I know that's a fast break. But we are taking advantage. The whole point is we're making an impact to the role that we are playing. And we were playing majority in this game point guard, okay? That's why it's a 55-minute video, right? Another three ball. See what I'm saying? I want y'all to realize something, right? Even when I'm playing with my... my the last time I played with my center, right? Because I got two centers. I got the one the one of my coworker. I haven't played on him in a little minute. 
Um, but I have another center. Every time, y'all see, I like another stop. Every time when I'm playing, right, uh, with my my main center, right. The reason why I stop playing my main center is because he gets the worst guards ever. I mean, he's getting PGs that <laughs> they don't shoot the basketball. Even if he set him a pick. Now, yes, I can understand. Well, Jay, you got to understand, bro. A lot of PGs don't like screens, right? But here's my thing. And y'all know my first center is mainly an inside big, right? If you don't like that, then you can't get mad if he's in the paint. Because guess what? An inside For an inside center to really be successful, y'all, he has to, you know, move around, right? Now, I know that might sound, but understand what I'm trying to say. He cannot just be predictable. Like, I've seen a video to where people are saying, like, this is why insides can't work. And again, you know what I'm saying? It can work, but the guy he was playing up against, right? And again, it's just, you know, my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't even know, guys, I forgot who he was, right? But again, just based on my opinion, the guy was just running into the paint. Like, I'm going to show you an example. Right? So look, so let's look, look, look at it like this, right? You got a jump ball situation like this, right? You got a jump ball. So look, you have to do a jump ball, right? And no, I'm not flexing. So again, we're doing a jump ball, right? I'll do it like this so y'all say I'm trying to flex. So look, you do a jump ball, right? You want to do a jump ball, right? But do the jump ball. Y'all win the jump ball. You got an you got an inside center. The first thing he does is run straight to the paint. That's the red flag right there, bro. Right? Now you guys say, well, bro, how is that a red flag for the inside big? Let me tell you why it's a red flag. Because, see, the other team already in their mind, you know, oh, I'm going to get to center. He can't shoot. Right? So why, when the game starts, you immediately go to what they know you can't do, which is the paint. But if you did something else that would catch them off guard, like, well, bro, why he not in the paint? You know, he inside, right? And again, yell at another stop. I fucking, as a matter of fact, take the glove off. Take the glove off, nigga. Yell it with the stop, okay? You know what I'm saying? Stop playing, bro. But I told y'all this. But like I was saying, a lot of those inside centers that are no good, they do the most predictable stuff. Y'all know when I'm playing center, I play another, like I said, I play all around, right? So I might start the game shooting three threes on my center, and I'm going to make one of them count to where even let's say I'm missing, right? Guess what? If I'm getting rebounds on the biggest point in the court, I'm activating sharp takeover because guess what? I'm going to go back to that three-point line, and all I need is one. Let me let me, let me get y'all to understand something. If you are inside, but unless you got like a, like a, your threes in the 70s, all you need is one three to fall. See, that's why I said you go go and do it early. Because if you do it early, it gets the other two intention. You know, he'll shoot the ball. You see what I'm saying? He'll shoot. He's not scared to shoot the three ball. So they cannot just camp in the paint. But a lot of these insides, right? And again, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I literally just stated, you know, play the best of your build, you know, uh, what his best attribute is. I get that. But when, it's, when it comes to playing with randoms and they don't know your situation or how your style of play is, you control on, you know, because again, you're playing arguably the most important player on the floor, you know, which is center, right? It's, in my opinion, you know, the second. I think PG is number one, but, you know, it's, it's, both are up there. My whole point is, right? But you don't want to be predictable. Like, when I'm playing with somebody else's shoes, the first thing I do is I sit in the paint because I'm thinking in my mind, you know, yeah, he, he's going to the paint. He does exactly that. Goes right to the paint, right? And does the most predictable thing ever to where, oh, I know he was going to do. You see what I'm saying? Instead of trying to catch me off guard, that's what I'm saying. When I did play center, I was shooting threes. That's what I kept saying. Like, people in the chat kept saying, oh, I was guarding you. That wouldn't happen. Dog, how? Because, again, I'm going to come out shooting threes on my inside, big. And I've, all, like I said, all I need is one to fall. And that's going to get the whole team's attention that this inside big, well, she's not scared to shoot. So y'all cannot just camp inside the paint. And let, on, let me get sharp takeover, too. See what I'm saying? then we really going to keep shooting to where now it opens up the offense to where you are not just going to have somebody just sitting in the paint trying to post up. Now, if you have a mismatch, that's different. But even then, if you have a mismatch, I don't you know tend to do the same thing every single time, right? But let's get back to Yella and, you know, him just being an absolute baller, okay? Um, and let me know if y'all want more Yella footage. I told y'all, even though we're not a PG, I'm not a PG, um, you see, you know, we're not playing bad. We're getting assists. We're shooting the ball. We're being aggressive. We're getting good ball movement. We're playing how a PG should play in solo rec, okay? Fundamentals, that's how we're playing. We're playing like we have fundamentals, okay? Fundamental basketball IQ, that's all it is. That's what I want you to understand. All it is is fundamental basketball IQ, okay? That's what this is about. Again, you see, again, we have an A-minus teammate grade, okay? Center, 
And he was, I don't know, this guy right, I don't know what he was doing. I thought he was going to shoot it because he was not inside the paint. And again, I was just about to, for, for an, uh, another thing I want to say about sinners. Let me just get some juice real quick. And yes, I drink apple juice, okay? If you got a problem, come see me about it, okay? By the way, uh, Mutz, please sponsor your boy. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is some really, you know, amazing apple juice. But again, y'all see yellow another stop right there, right? But look. It's every time, okay? Now look, man. Another thing I want to say about some of these centers, some of y'all need to find an identity, okay? Because when I was playing with Yellow, there were the games that I was like, you know, probably lost or struggled in, the center has no identity. Now, yes, I understand that, okay, that, you know, Yellow has an all-around basically play style. But you, as most likely supposed to be the biggest player on the court, right? You should already have in your mind with how you want to play. Whether you want to be inside, another stop for yellow, by the way. Whether you want to be inside, whether you want to be outside, you should have in your mind figured out, you know, and it's going to want to shoot threes, and it's going to want to be in the paint. Have that figured out, because if you don't, and it's going to make everybody struggle, because when they realize, okay, what, what is the center doing? If the center not shooting the ball, again, yellow, shoot, let it fly. That's what I'll take, okay? No excuses, right? If you don't have any identity as a center, bro, it puts the team in the world in trouble. Because I was dealing with that, and the guys were on the mic talk about some man, the PG, he, he'd shoot too many shots. Well, he shoot, the P, yellow shoot too many shots because the center has no identity. The center, when you hit the ball, when you get the ball to the center in the corner, he just sits there and does this. Holds it, and then moves it. Right? So look, he catches the ball, holds it, and moves it. Holds it, and moves it. It's like, dog, I don't know what you're doing. Then when he gets in the pinch on the post up, he gets the ball. Posting up, right? Posting up like this, like this. Posting up, right? Posting up. Right? Kick out of it. Like he on some Jokic type shit. And it's like, dog, what are, what are you? You see what I'm saying? What type of play style are you trying to be? And by the way, because <laughs> I can see the smart comment in the comment section now. Okay. Well, bro, maybe he's trying to play like Jokic. That's BS. Because number one, Jokic will shoot the basketball. Number two, what makes Jokic uh, really a good player and why he got his third MVP is because he's really smart. Okay. He knows how to, you know, trick people into thinking what he's going to do. And Jokic has elite footwork. He has really good, he has elite footwork. Okay, pause on that. Y'all know what I mean by that, right? He's really good in the post, right? He It's almost like he knows where he's going. Like, again, he has the, he, he has the identity to what he wants to do. So if some of y'all don't, y'all let it fly, let it fly, let it fly, okay? Now you guys are seeing we were starting to play with, uh, I believe, y'all seeing in uh, Black and T now, okay? So now we were starting to play squad rec, okay? You see, we're doing the same thing we were doing when we were playing with randoms. We're still making an impact. Let it fly, yellow. That's without takeover. That's without takeover. We letting it fly without takeover. What you got to say now, bro? We were, we're doing the same impact we were doing in, with randoms. Now we're playing with, we're playing the squad wreck. Okay, you see T and you see Black. Let it fly, yeah. Let it fly. Oh my goodness. Well, what the hell were they telling me? What were they telling me? What were y'all telling me? Yeah, now I'm flexing. Because there was a lot of people talking, saying what I can and can't do, right? You just got to hit the like and subscribe, right? So look, y'all, again, we're doing the same stuff we were doing, okay? Again. Now look, look at this. <laughs> Look at this, man. Look. You see, these guys are playing weird, by the way, too. When I tell you they were playing weird, um, I don't think I have a channel. When people, I'm going to say this, by the way, too. If some of y'all know I have a YouTube channel and y'all playing up against me, please understand playing weird is not going to get you in the video. Now, yes, I understand that they're in, you know, they're in this because, again, you know, they're highlights, right? But some of y'all feel like y'all do this weird stuff because, oh, he's going to put us in the video. No. <laughs> All I'm going to do is make the right read, bro. Feel what I'm saying? Right there, I got T open. That's a three, okay? But I feel like a lot of y'all, <laughs> y'all think that's going to get y'all in the video, and it's really not, bro. But, um, but yeah, man, you know, let me know how y'all feel about this comment section. Do y'all, how do y'all see how yellow plays? I see a lot of, you know, Lonzo Ball potential, a player that can give you a little bit of everything. That's why Lonzo Ball was really, you know, highly talked about when he was young because he had all-world potential, right? Athletic as well, you see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Yella is athletic as well. I know you probably saw like a couple of dunks in this in these clips, but he has a 93 ball. You know what I'm saying? A 93 ball, right? <laughs> That's why you see us shooting the ball from deep because he can do it. And some of y'all make builds with a 95 ball. With a 97, look at that. What are we talking about? Being athletic, you see what I'm saying? 
Some of y'all have bills with a 90, 92 three ball, 94 three ball, 97 three ball, and you are scared to shoot and a standing open shot. When your build has the ability to shoot from the parking lot, okay? A lot of these motherfuckers were chirping to me because they said I'm not playing PG, right? And we still be in this team, okay? And now, uh, keep this in mind, we are playing in squad rec. So, again, shoot it, yellow, right? Bam. T, and again, the guy that had, I think, 27 points, still lost by damn near 30 plus, right? But I was not, yellow was not guarding him because, again, we were playing squad rec and T's on our lock. So, of course, you know, T's going to guard, you know, the other guard because I think it was like 6'8", and they were trying to, like, you know, do weird stuff. But, you know, again, so we were just playing it smart. But, again, y'all see what yellow's doing, bro. Y'all see what y'all is doing. Do I need to say any more? Do I need to prove any more? After this video, I should not have... Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I should... After this video, y'all, I should not see anybody else tell me how I'm supposed to feel about a point guard. Because I have proved to y'all not... This is what the third time, right? This is a longer video. I Again, nobody's guarding you. Shoot it, right? I have proved to y'all for how long now that I could play any position on this game. Right, whether it's point guard, whether it's shooting guard, whether it's small fort, whether it's power fort, whether it is center, I could do it all. Am I comp? Am I elite? Of course not. But can we do basic basketball IQ stuff? Of course. Can we give the effort? Of course. Are we gonna give the are we gonna make the impact? Most definitely. Feel what I'm saying? And that's all that matters when you're playing a casual mode, bro. Feel what I'm saying? Let me turn this slide off real quick though. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all really you just chirping to me, bro, like Bro, don't bro don't play the PG position. He ain't trying to talk like he a PG. You right, I'm not a PG. Bro, I'm shooting that bitch in the fucking parking lot, nigga. I don't gotta be a PG. I'm shooting from the parking lot. You right, I'm not a point guard. But I damn sure put the fucking effort in, nigga. See what I'm saying? For somebody who's not a PG, do you see how we playing? Do you see? You see that, right? <sighs> All right, man. Well, like I said, though... <laughs> I just all I, I, I'm really and I get everything happens for a reason, okay? But again, they're not guarding you. Let it fly. Shout out to Black for that pass right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and shout out to T as well. I told you I make sure I go such to them, follow them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them Jay Miss sent you, okay? Um, you know we go, we doing some really uh, big things. We about to hit two thousand subs, y'all. Um, I want to thank y'all for all love support. Again, y'all let it fly. They not this is squad wreck. Cause they thought you were playing with randoms. They thought it's, it's, it's gonna be no, no different when you're playing with a team now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> all the way, all the way. Dump that one too, right? But you like to see the comments now. Oh man, yellow ball. He didn't really have many assists. Um, and see, here's the thing that I I told y'all. Remember what I said? When you're playing PG, the goal is to do what? Create offense. So I could have probably two assists. But if we are scoring the ball like that, that's all we need, right? Because the goal of creating offense, not we're, we're not only doing that, but we're, we're the factor to why the offense is up to where it's at. Because these threes that we're shooting, you know what I'm saying, they're automatic, basically. Now, of course, you know, 2K makes you go on and off sometimes, but pause on that. But, bro, y'all know how the shot times are in this game, right? But y'all see a game, right? Black's open right there. He's patient. Three ball. Got it. Again, 24 points, right? Six points from the three point won that game. This game right here, um, I don't know. I think I can't remember. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I, I can't remember half of this stuff, bro. Um, because I got like a lot a lot of footage on my on my console though, for real. But um, I just want to try to see. Because I know people are gonna say, oh, you only showed one or two games. No, I'm sh I'm I basically have a, a hoop mixtape for y'all, bro. It's just no music in the background. Again, black's wide open, they'll leave it open, make them pay for it, right? Bam, right? But again, I'm showing y'all basically a, a mixtape, okay? 55 minutes, you're seeing a little bit of everything from yellow. Offense, defense, if it's not, you got somebody wide open, bam. Like I told y'all, yes, we need to work on seeing, the, you know, the court better because that's something that we did not do really well, but we were still winning games, and that's all that matters. As long as you're winning, that's all you can ask for, right? Again, you get the ball, they're not guarding yellow, right? Thought about shooting, I want good cut by black, you know what I'm saying? And again, should we have shot that? Probably, but I didn't want to, you know, we just talked about being predictable. I thought, you know, we were shooting, I was shooting so many D3s at yellow, right? I didn't want them to think like, you know, because they're just going to jump, right? Cross them up, let it fly, right? But 
I didn't want to just give off of, you know, we're just going to play like Steph and just come down the court, shoot, shoot, shoot. So we're now they're just going to start jumping all over the place and, you know, doing it. That's why you didn't really see me, you know, just force, force, force. We're more patient. Like right there, patient. That guy ended up, the guy ended up quitting the game, by the way. You see, he quit. We were 30 days. Now it's 32 to 10. Um, so again, like I told you, what's the excuse, right? We were up 32 to 12. Look how Yellow's playing, right? Good cut right there by T. Again, way to see it. Way to, way to keep going. Right, bam. We got six points and six assists. Yellow shoot 40% three-point line. Again, yellow with the ball. What a screen by Black. Right, another good cut by T. And again, this is another thing that's important, too. I'm going to tell you this, by the way. Not because, again, this is this also be a tip for randoms. Um, Please do not ball watch, okay? Now, when you see T cutting or you see Black cutting, this is squad. So, I obviously had communication with them when this was happening. But another thing in random rec. Y'all have got to stop watching just the PG. Like, for example, let's say you're at the two or the three. You at the you got one at the corner, one at the hash. If the PG is not moving and he's one that's trying to get open and trying to get something to draw it up for y'all, right? And you're just sitting there, that's on you because you're ball watching the PG. Instead of actually seeing if you have a cut or you have space to get up for a shot, you are just watching the PG. And that's something I hate, right? But again, yeah, let, let it fly. See what I'm saying? Because According to these guys, you know, you've never played PG. You can't speak on it. So, you know, you, you can't, you don't have the right to talk about the PG position, right? That's saying you guys no longer have any more excuses. No longer anymore, okay? No more excuses. Um, Again, <laughs> and one. What the fuck they talking about? What do y'all have to say now, bro? I want to see it in the comment section. What do you guys have to say now? What do you got to say now? What is going to be the excuse? And yes, he can shoot free throws. I, I was not going to have a. I was not going to have a point guard that cannot shoot free throws. You'd be out of your mind. That's the dumbest thing you could do, right? Seventy-three to twenty-nine in squad rec. Seventy-three to twenty-nine in squad rec. Okay, another cut by T. Because you know, again, hold on. I'm talking so fast. Do you want to know why the cuts are there for T? Because T's not ball watching. She sees that they're doubling here. They're stepping up there. So now the cuts open to where she's going to have the space. Again, yellow's open. Let it fly. Y'all know what time it is. Leave them open. You're crazy. A-plus teammate grade. You know what I'm saying? But, again, I just want you to hit the like button. Okay? Hit the like and subscribe. We're on the road to 2,000 subs. Okay? There's no, there should be no more excuses. Again, they're leaving you yellow. Let it fly. Okay? Let it fly. What more do y'all... What more proof do y'all need? I can see... Now, some of y'all are going to be like, bro, yellow be cooking. I need, you need to be playing more yellow. I might do that. I don't know. Right? But, I mean, after I seen this, oh, my goodness, no, you did not. Oh, my, that's from the goddamn logo. That is from the goddamn logo. Look me in the damn, that is, bro, look me in the eyes, y'all. That is from the damn logo, okay? Some of y'all don't even shoot standing threes. That's from the logo. The logo, okay? With a 93 ball, right? But y'all know what time it is, bro. Another one. Let it fly. That's what I'll take. We miss, Okay. <laughs> Shoot another one. We go again. Shoot the same shot. Chicken. You see the effort stuff I'm talking. You see the effort, right? You see how the effort and we shot another one. That's stuff that I'm talking about. It's things like that that a lot of you randoms don't do. Y'all don't even let them shoot the ball. You don't even do that. You see what I'm saying? Another one. Let it fly. Separation. So, like I said, bro. Um, let me know again. And do y'all do y'all be honest? If you feel like you know. I should not be running the PG position. So then ask yourself, why do you have a PG? Because I can tell right now why some of y'all made a PG because y'all want the ball. See, some of y'all made a point guard is because y'all thought, you know, I just want the ball. You have to understand it's not about that, bro. Another good screen right there by Black, okay? Um, and I don't want to hear, oh, well, Black setting picks. That's why Yellow's only scoring. Bro, Yellow has a 93 ball. He ha He's supposed to shoot the ball, right? But like I was saying... Some of y'all, what a cut by black. Some of y'all, right, some of y'all just make a bill because you want the ball. And then when you get on the bill, you realize, oh, it's not just about getting the ball. I got to actually initiate and create and have offense. I got to actually provide something for this basketball team because if not, we're going to be in a world of trouble. Feel what I'm saying? Now, when yellow is shooting like this, it's going to be hard to beat anybody. You see what I'm saying? Because, I mean, these are deep, these are shots that Steph, Steph and Curry be shooting, Okay. And that's not glazing, that's a fact. These are Stephen Curry, Damian Lillard range type shots you see us shooting with yellow, okay? And I just wanted to let me know because I feel like a lot of y'all, 
y'all have builds that's, that can shoot, but y'all don't shoot. I'll, like, I'll be like, bro, what, what did you make? Right? What did you make? Oh, and trust me, I'm good, okay? I'm good over here, okay? I'm not crazy. I'm not about to crash out. I just get really competitive over the, the videos I make because I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm right every time. But when I make a video and I literally, when I do breakdowns for it, when I show y'all proof in the footage and I pause it and I say freeze it here or I show it to play on some NBA TNT, you know what I'm saying, inside the NBA type shit, which again, TNT, please pay them guys their money. Okay, Shaq, Kenny, Ernie, all of them, Chuck, okay, those guys are, you know, arguably the, the best show on TV. You got to give them their money, you know what I'm saying, keep that, you know, keep that team together, okay, now done what it is, okay, but... You've got to realize that the stuff I say is fundamental stuff about basketball, fundamental basketball IQ. And a lot of these guys, they can't do it, right? So that is why I might seem hostile when I upload videos about me, you know, getting frustrated because I know damn well, right? And y'all know now, another still by yellow, right? Keep my real playing squad right by the way now, right? Just two more people I know, that's it. So it's only me um, and yes, uh, of course, I I'm tired of people asking me this. Who is Jello? Who is Cody? It's of, co of course it's me, but I give my my players names to make the game fun, okay? So right now, Cody is j Mid's brother in the game. Yella is Cody's cousin in the game, okay? I make it interesting, right? So I was only playing with uh, T and Black. Other two, we didn't even know. But I know that's a three. You see what I'm saying? I know that's all net. That's automatic, okay? That's what I do know, right? And I do know we win in this. We win 55-39. Guess what? You know, it's about to be worse. You know, you know what I'm saying? Again, what a pass. Like, and we got to work on that, right? But, again, we were shooting 29% from three in this game, but we had an A-. minus. You see the teammate grade? Because it's the overall effort and impact that a point guard has to be able to showcase when they're playing that position, right? That's why a lot of people get on Ben Simmons because Ben Simmons, nobody said he had to be, a, you know, an all-around sharpshooter. But the problem with Ben Simmons is a lot. Is he does not give the effort. He gets open. He doesn't shoot it, right? He airballs. He doesn't shoot no more. Again, that's from the parking lot, really. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not from the parking lot. That's a three. It's open. Shoot the, shoot the basketball. We were shooting 29%, and we are still looking to shoot the basketball. So what is the excuse? You feel what I'm saying? What's the excuse? Again, they're not guarding you from the parking lot. Chicken. What y'all got to tell me now, bro? <laughs> And this is somebody who does not, who is not a PG. I'm not a point guard whatsoever, bro. Right? But what y'all got this? What y'all got to say about this so far? Let me know in the comment section. Um, another one, another assist. A, a team great again. I'm gonna just relax, my nerve, man, and uh, just chill out. Okay, I might upload. I'm gonna upload the second video uh, for y'all probably tomorrow. Let me know y'all about this video right here, though. Um. Also, we were using that uh, Jamal Murray behind the back to, you know, also, you know, move the ball around and create offense as well. So we were not using that to shoot threes. We were using that to also create, some, you know, get some others involved, right? Right there was black, right? But another three ball right there by Yellow. Y'all know what time it is, bro. Um, but, yeah, man. I, and, again, I'm really, I'm very proud of Yellow, okay? I'm super proud of Yellow. Um, you know, I, I can imagine he been wanting to play, right? I just didn't want to deal with the randoms. Um and yeah, he went out here and showcased. If you go back to like the season threes footage where I had Yella, he I told you I was like Yella has potential to be really good. I just gotta lab him, right? I just gotta get right with him. I gotta get in the lab with him. And you see when I've been playing more with Yella, he's showing that all world potential. Keep my this is a floor spacing slasher, six four point guard. Okay? Floor spacing slasher, that is a six four PG. Well keep that in mind, right? Um, so yeah. Which I see again, T's wide open. That's a shot. Made her fade. Still green. Automatic. Um, but yeah, man, I, I cannot wait to this video get out there so I can make some of y'all be quiet, okay? Um, shut some of y'all up because a lot of y'all be talking to me like I, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, and yeah, man, it is your boy J Mid. That's a 55-minute video for y'all. Um, stay tuned on for the next one. Tomorrow we got to. I mean, let me. Should I should I do a video on season seven? Season seven. Let me know, y'all. Y'all want a video see some again, another deep three, automatic chicken. Okay. Y'all see yellow shooting deep crazy shots, you know, logo threes basically. Um let me know. Y'all want to do a video on season seven seven and the rewards, because the rewards are absolutely disgraceful on any level of 2K it's ever been. I don't care what nobody say. Season seven, the rewards have been absolutely terrible, okay? They're literally, you know, giving us the same stuff. Okay, but let me know y'all put in the comment section. Um 
by the time this video upload, I should see at least, um, you know, by the time of tomorrow, at least, y'all, at least 45 likes. I just gave y'all a 55 minute video. Um, no, I, I just gave y'all a 55 minute mixtape of proof of what I can do if I was to play PG a little bit. See what I'm saying? I just showed y'all that I could do the impossible that some of y'all think I can't do, which is play the PG position with randoms, okay? I just showed y'all, I just showcased that to y'all, right? So the least y'all could do for me is hit that like and subscribe. We are almost to 2,000 subscribers, y'all. That's a lot of people, okay? Some people can't even hit 300. Some people can't even hit 50, okay? We are about to hit 2,000 subscribers because you guys are making this possible, right? So, again, y'all make sure, you know what I'm saying, just keep showing love and support. I got y'all, bro. I told you, I love doing this. This is really fun to me. I can, you know, make my content, be myself, you know what I'm saying, and basically turn it into a career. I love what I'm doing, right? But look, Yella, I need that to be a three, you know what I'm saying, chicken, okay? I don't know, man, like, Honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all, too, by the way, too. I really don't want to play Season 7. I really don't want to play Season 7 because I feel like 2K is, like, laughing in our faces. Like, for example, the, the rewards they gave us, it's, it's criminal, basically. It's laughable. Like, it's, are you serious? Like, you got to be joking, right? Like, what is the point to play a game if you're going to give people the same rewards? Mascots are just pointless at this point. You see what I'm saying? They're pointless. You're giving away mascots every season. It's pointless. Mascots don't hold no weight anymore. Our mascot used to really hold some weight. So you saw somebody with a mascot, they play this game. Now it's okay. Everybody got a mascot. It don't it don't mean nothing no more. Right? It don't mean nothing no more. And that's 2K for you. And now you got people like Troyden, who was another part of, you know, a person that, you know, was heading to a community. You know, uh, uh, another person I used to watch when I was younger. Um, like when I used to watch, he used to play parts of like that, though. Now he's like more into my team topic. Um, he said, like, if 2K don't get, if they don't get it together, it's going to be his last video, like, last 2K video, because, you know, he's tired, and, and, and again, I'm not saying I'm glad he's speaking up, because I am, because 2K needs to understand what they're doing is unacceptable, okay, they need to understand what they're doing, it's, it's unacceptable, bro, you, you should not be able to do what you're doing and get away with it, right, but, um, yeah, man. I don't know. I've been talking for a little minute. Um, let me make sure I, I get all this. Let me start this real quick and say this footage. Hold on. All right, y'all. We back. I just had to make sure, you know, my camera didn't crash on me because, you know, yes, that has time to time happened before, and it is not a good feeling, okay? When I tell you guys that you make, you know, spend a lot of time making a video, and the whole entire time, you know, the video did not, you know, you know, finish, you know, uploading or, you know, even record you, it is hurtful because, you know, especially if you really dedicate something like, you know, including content, like, I really love making videos, so if I'm talking for a little minute, right, um, I want to make sure everything I'm saying is being recorded so you guys can hear me, so when the video gets out there, y'all saying, well, we can't hear nothing, right, because I remember before I had a, I, I did a video to where I had the intro and y'all couldn't hear me, where I was like, bro, see, I, I wasn't paying attention to where I couldn't hear nothing in the intro I was saying, but another deep three by yellow, that's chicken, um, y'all know what it is though, for real. And again, if you want more yellow footage, I did the same thing in season three. And I told you he had potential. He was he was at 83 when I said that. He is now a 93. No, he's either 93 or 92. I don't know what overall he is, right? But um when I was showing y'all when the other stuff about yellow, like season three, he was like at 83 overall. So I was like, man, yellow got hella potential to be really good, y'all. I was like, you got potential. I really love him. He could be really good. And you see when I'm, you know, playing with him now, pause. Um, he's getting better game by game. We were doing the same impact we did with randoms. But yeah, that's what it'd be really the end of this video though for me. I don't got much really else to say. Um, I can't wait to this video get out there so I can make some of y'all be quiet. I um, mean, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this video to get out there. Um, if you don't think, you don't see Alonzo Ball style, similar style of play with him, um, not even style of play, but overall potential wise, um, let me know what NBA player you feel like yellow plays like. And do not say Steph or Trey. Let's be honest, okay? Keep in mind, Yellow has an all-around play style. You know, can score, defend, play make, you know, things like that. Athletics, so keep that in mind. Do not say Steph. Do not say Dame. And the reason why I said don't say Dame, because Dame is not defend, okay? Dame is not a defender. Steph is not a defender. Now, yes, they might try to get a steal here and there, but they're not really defenders. Is Yellow a defender? Of course not. 
But, you know, the clips that y'all saw, Steph and Dame are not getting stops like that. They get a lot of steals on, you know, if a, if a big man has the ball and they just pick the pocket, right? But they're not really, you know, in the passing lanes, you know, just getting stops like that, actually being the play. Now, I don't know, um, because like I said, we watch basketball, we know how Steph and Dame play, okay? Um, so, yeah. Let me know y'all what kind of play y'all feel like he play like. Um, if there's somebody y'all like the video, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm free to repeating the same stuff over and over again, but uh, y'all still see me shooting from the parking lot with yellow. I'm mean, going crazy though, for real, man. Uh, it's just crazy though. It's crazy. I'm not a point guard, but I damn sure can play the position. I like it though, for real, man. We're going to run to 2000. The match my life just me the whole entire time y'all can hear me. I'd be so rattled and heated, bro. Love y'all boys. Ladies and gentlemen, love y'all uh, boys and girls. Um, We out, man. Much love to y'all. We out. I'm proud of you, yellow. Way to keep balling. Got better game by game. Literally got better.